Shirt, guys. Are you kidding me? How did I? Okay, there's there's some mystery right here. There is some mystery. Five hundred and twenty-one. I have not been five hundred and twenty-one since nine seventeen nineteen. What the heck is going on? Goodbye. Goodbye. Whatever. Today's the six. Okay, I'll be back, guys. So, guys, I'm back. Okay, so we're having the reg the the regular crystal light. Raspberry, it tastes so good, guys. Um, and then we're having the usual eggs. No cheese today, just, just some um, Mrs. Dash. So yesterday, guys, I went out, I had fun. I went on a date, guys, I went on a date. I had so much fun. Um, I went on I went out yesterday night, Friday night. I went out Friday night, and then I went out again Saturday night. It was fun. Um, it was fun. I don't know if it's gonna lead anywhere because she's she's seriously in her career, and then, and then, I'm just starting my stuff slowly. You know, waiting for surgery. I'm calling them Monday, guys, because I tried to call them over the weekend, and I or I tried to call them on Friday, but their office closes at four o'clock, so I have to call them before four. So I think I'm gonna call. What's her face? With I forget her. I forget her first name. My caseworker out there. Cause at celebration they give you a caseworker to work with. I'm I have I've had I've had three since I went out there. So um I'm definitely gonna try to reach out to her Monday, tomorrow morning, early. Just to ask her like what's up? Did the what did, you know, did you get everything off to the insurance company? Cause she had to submit everything to the insurance company and they needed me to see a doctor for three months and that's what I did. And I need to see if their nurses said okay and sign off on my I'm thinking if it was bad news she would have called me already. Instead of having me wait for almost three weeks, because Monday makes three weeks. So um, since I was done with everything. And remember they did say two to four months before surgery. I did everything in two months. So, that is a lot, you know, for them. They could make me wait until all the way until November or December before I could do surgery. To me, that's sad because I wanted to go see my sister for her birthday and Thanksgiving. And I wanted to go see my cousin in Texas for Christmas. But if I can't even fly, like, that's the hard part. And my cousin's been trying to get me to come for years and I've always been blowing it off. And finally, I'm like, I'm coming, cuz. So, so, yeah, I really want to go to Texas. And so, I don't know if I'm going to get there yet, but I'm trying to. Because I feel like even though maybe I can't fly to Texas, I would have to take a bus. That's a long bus ride. <laughs> I, I drove it when I helped my brother and my sister. Sister and mom moved from Texas, from Orlando, te from not Orlando, Texas, or not, from from San Antonio, Texas, to Tampa, Florida. 
It took us two days to get here. And we stopped in a hotel at nighttime and we drove the whole day, the day we left. And that was like 2009 they moved here, I wanna say. Mm hmm It was really cool. It was fun. It was a good bonding time for me and my brother. It was good bonding time for me and my sister-in-law. And we just switched off. My mom would drive the U-Haul with my brother and I would ride in the car with my sister-in-law. We would jam out to music and talk and da-da-da-da and have fun. And then we would switch at our, at our stops when we would stop for like lunch or dinner or breakfast or whatever. And then I would ride with my brother and we would talk about like nerdy stuff and whatever. Not that I'm a nerd, he a nerd. <laughs> but I listened because it was some it was really educational. And then my mom would ride with my sister in law. So And then we went to this hotel. A little story time. We went to this hotel where they had like a whole like youth area for like youth kids and everything. Like teenagers and whatever. And I was like two thousand and nine. I was like nineteen, so I was still young. So I went down there and I hanged out and had like a bunch of friends and everything. And we were like in some small little town in Texas. I don't even remember. And then my mom was like, cause it was like late, late, late. It was like almost two in the morning. This place was still open for the kids. I was like, that is like awesome. Like that's the type of hotel you want to go to. And so my mom like came downstairs and she's like, where have you been forever? Like, she's like, I thought you snuck out and got lost somewhere. I'm like, no, I'm just having fun. But, like, the other kids' parents came down, too. The ones that actually cared, you know. Some of the parents were just asleep, and the child's like, my dad don't care. He'll sleep. We're on a road trip, and I'm bored, you know. So, and they had, like, video games and free snacks, and they had, like, music, and it was, like, really fun. It was, like, a little teen nightclub. It was really cool. But we had fun. Um... If I took a bus, it would take me probably two days to get there. But a bus from here to, to New York, it's probably the same distance or more. I don't know. But I don't know why I weighed that much today, guys. Like, I'm stressed. But, like, it might have been because I just got out of the shower. But to put that much on me. Well, I was 5'19 yesterday, so it only put two pounds. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. That would make sense. If I was 5'19 yesterday and then it put two pounds of water weight. Yeah. Oh, well, okay. I got it. I understand where it came from. Mm -hmm. So there's like, what am I doing? I'm following this whole diet, like, step by step. And I'm not cheating or nothing. And I'm not bringing carbs back in. So I'm like, I'm like, what else can it be? I do two tablespoons if I can't believe it's not butter. That's what they tell you to use, the nutritionist. Um, I'm not eating carbs and that's it. And then when I eat those salads, I do like the four piece, the four ounces of chicken that I'm allowed to have. The two cheeses, there's no amount on the cheese. It's just, you're only allowed two, two times, like choose two things of dairy a day. So, and then when I eat that salad, I don't come home and eat right afterwards. I don't eat until like dinner time because when we eat the salad, it's like 10, 11 and something in the morning. And I don't eat again until 5 o'clock. So, that's enough time. Mm. Mm -hmm. So... I told you guys to comment yesterday, and I no one listens to me because I'm not big enough yet. <laughs> but oh my god, that's like the best Kool Aid in the world. Um, because it tastes like you're drinking grape soda, but you're not. It's just grape. It oh my god, it tastes so good. Um, I wish you guys could try some <laughs> or go get you some. Um, it's called grape. Crystal Light, and they sell it at Publix, but I don't know what your guys' stores are, where you guys are from, or Walmart probably has it, or you can just order it online, Great Crystal Light, from like the Walmart app, but I'm finished, I was really hungry.
guys, this is a new shirt. Or no, this is an old shirt. But the last time I wore it, there's a YouTube video where I wore it. And oh my God, it was so tight and everything. And look how loose this is. This is how it was before, guys. Like, it was like that. And it was so tight. And it's so loose now. And airy. Like, my chest area is starting to go down. Sinking, sinking, sinking. And I'm like, wow. But when I see numbers like that, saying that I'm 521, like, that's depressing. Like, that's like, are you serious? Like, I don't want to go backwards. Like, whatever, you know, I'm like, I don't want to go backwards. But I'm like, I'm not going to beat myself up because it's okay. Like, it's normal. When you're on a diet to go up and down, it's normal. And then yesterday I was like really depressed. Like I did all this work for what? Like this, like it was like the devil telling me like, oh, this is not gonna happen. The surgery's not gonna happen. You're gonna gain it all back. This was all a waste of time. And I'm like, shut up. Like, no, it's not. Like, you know, and then I got on the phone with my sister and my sister was just like encouraging me and everything. And she's like, you got this and we're really proud of you and keep going and like, then I started reading all your guys' comments and how people are so proud of me and like keep going and like don't give up and you're inspiring me to do like the same thing or do different things in their lives. Like every little bit that I do, I don't understand that it helps someone else. Like that was the hardest thing for me to understand. And when I see that, that's what makes me feel so good. Like my situation is helping someone else's situation. So I'm like, keep going. But It'd be really cool to work with like other follow other YouTubers that are like here in Orlando. And there's some coming that are starting YouTube. And so, and then when I get recognized places, that's really cool too. And I always ask people, are you going to do a YouTube channel? Do you want to do one? And they're like, I don't know. I'm scared. I'm like, guys, come on. Like, let's make our own community, you know? Like, that'd be really cool and start something, you know? But I don't want to force anybody. I want people to do it when they want. And then they can reach out to me if they want to do something. But... You know, if it takes me another two years just to grow my channel, that is fine. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that because I should be a lot smaller. I think the I think the videos that will do so good that will get into the caves are when I do the Disney and the Universal champ, Universal videos. I think that those will do really good because a lot of people want me to go to Disney. A lot of people want me to go to um, Universal and go to like the Harry Potter ride and different stuff like that. But I gotta get a better camera system so I don't lose my phone on the rides. <laughs> um, but definitely I wanna do that. Cause I don't see a lot of those on YouTube, those type of blogs. There's some, there's traveling blogs, but the way that I'm gonna do it, it'll be cool. Um, I would love to do Howard Horror Nights, but the music I think I would get, I would get copyrighted, but I would love to record that. I think that would be so funny and cool. It would be like a scary, spooky Halloween. Um, I would love to go to the Queen Mary if I lived in LA. Like, that would be cool. Because I'm black and we would be cursing the whole time. So I'd probably have to put a censor over my mouth. But it would be funny. Oh, and especially with Jama. Oh my God, we would have so much fun. Because she gets scared easy and so do I. And it would just be like the funniest video ever. Especially the, like, the, one, air, like, the one that Ellen does where she scares people. I so want to do that. That would be so much fun. With my best friend. If I write into her, she probably would put us on the show and make us do that. Because that's going to be starting up soon this month. But I don't know, guys. I don't know. I want this bad. I know I say that a lot, but I really do want this bad to prove all, to all the haters that I made it. So it's in God's hands. I, I pray that God can help me. And I pray that it goes the way that I want it to go. If not, then I'll find another career. It just depends. <laughs> you know, and maybe I'll stop posting every day and post once a month. I don't know. It just depends on how far I want to go with this YouTube. I'm going to go. I'm going to go all the way. But it just depends on, like, my audiences and who's watching. Because if no one's watching, then I'm going to stop. Like, what's the point? But the people who are watching, I appreciate it so much from the bottom of my heart. And when you guys send comments and stuff and I don't react or people want me to go live on Instagram I'm just busy at the time so it's hard for me too but I'm going to start going live again on Instagram and TikTok so look out for those and I might go live on YouTube because someone asked me to do that too so I hear your guys' messages I hear you I will do it I promise just give me some time okay all right so I love you guys so much for watching if you're going to church go to church have a blessed day at church um if you're not then pray read your bible whatever um and I will talk to you guys tomorrow Peace. Or later on today. Peace. Make sure to like and subscribe. Turn on my notifications. Peace.